Hey Virgo, what's going on? Hope you're doing very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly at Tarot. And we're going to do a, a little quick general reading for June, but you know, it's timeless. So whenever you find this is when you were meant to see it. Um, you're very, very welcome here, Virgo. Thank you for being here with me and checking out the reading. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. So, let's see. What's going on for Virgo? I feel like you're getting ready to do something that's like a little outside your comfort zone. Or you're thinking about doing something that's a little outside your comfort zone. You have the Queen of Wands here. So this is kind of a new setup that I've got going on here. So I hope I'm waving the cards in generally the right direction so you can see them. Uh, so you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, what's going on for Virgo? The Queen of Cups. What's going on for Virgo? The Ace of Wands has come out with the Eight of Cups. So there's something going on here like with this Eight of Cups energy um, and the Ace of Wands. There's some kind of breakthrough in the way that you're thinking about things. And the Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something or it could be abandonment issues. I'm trying to like, I was going to pick them out one by one, but so it's like, no. So you're walking towards new love. Look, you have the Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So you're, so for some of you, you're headed away from a relationship that no longer fulfills you or that never fulfilled you because you realize that the person was not able to give back to you in the way that you give to them. So you're walking away and you're finding a new love here because you're thinking you've like had an epiphany about it. It could also be about abandonment issues though. You could have met someone who um, has like removed, they're making you think differently about relationships. Like maybe you had abandonment issues before and they're kind of healing that in you. Um, let's see what else. The magician. Ooh. So this is someone that you're manifesting or someone that has manifested you. The chariot. Okay. The queen of wands with the chariot. So this is either you or the person that you're dealing with. The queen of wands is someone, could be a fire sign. Here is Leo Sag. I also have water here. So it could be fire with water. Um, cancer. I have completely forgotten the other signs, so they could be a Cancer. <laughs> wow. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but strongly Cancer. So this is either you or the person you're dealing with, but someone here has, like, they're a strong home body energy. Very, very sweet, very family oriented, very psychic or intuitively gifted, very empathic. Um, this person is also very fiery, like very... You know, you can see with the Queen of Wands energy here, hopefully I'm waving it in the right place, like very warm, very fun, very like sparkly, um, gets a lot of attention in the spotlight, warm, you know, independent, good at doing things type of energy, particularly when you have, oh look, the Four of Wands, um, particularly when you have the Chariot. Either you're very successful or someone you're dealing with is very successful. This could be about you stepping into the spotlight or someone you know is in the spotlight, okay? I like think the person that you're dealing with here. Um, if this is you, it looks like you're getting ready to get out of your comfort zone and get into the spotlight or do something like opening your own business, like, um, uh, you know, being more in the public eye, being more seen, management positions, things like that. 
if this is someone that you're dealing with, you see, I see the four of wands here. So this is like someone, they might be like a, a wands energy, but they're looking for commitment, okay? So they're very warm. It's a very warm, nurturing energy. Uh, what else for Virgo? It's definitely someone new as well, because you have two aces here. Oh my gosh, look, the Queen of Cups with the High Priestess. So you are very psychic. I'm going to talk about this like it's you. But if it's the person you're dealing with, you just switch the roles, okay? So you are very psychic. Um, you're a very clear channel. You're very open to spirit. You're very empathetic. You're very sweet. You're very compassionate. But you have good boundaries. You don't always give a lot away, though, with the high priestess. If this is someone that you're dealing with, they're a fairly formidable energy. If this is you... You're, you're in this energy and you're, for some of you, it's like because you've stepped into your power, you're realizing that situations or a person were not treating you well enough or you're about to, so you're about to bounce, <laughs> basically. You're like, what the hell? Why, why is, no, <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. You're out of here. Ace of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone is seeing commitment differently, like with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here, because that's obviously like a very happy family. Um, someone is, is seeing commitment differently. Uh, you know, maybe you never wanted. To, I don't, mm. Maybe you never wanted to be in a commitment before, but this person is changing your mind about that. Um, maybe you realize that someone you're with is never going to give you the commitment that you want, so you're walking away. The Four of Pentacles. Let me reshuffle that one. So um, the Eight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. It's either that you've walked away from someone who was like a little closed off to find new love or I don't know why this is coming through but like you had a little bit of abandonment issues so you were kind of holding your heart close to your chest um, that you're now releasing because you realize that you want commitment. So you could have been working through stuff from your past here if this is you, okay? And now you're like, you know what? Yeah, I do want a commitment. You might have been doing inner child healing, working through like abandonment issues. It keeps coming through. The death card with the ace of cups. So you have death and rebirth. There's someone new coming in that reflects a lot of your own self back to you. Okay. So this new person represents, you know, a completely new cycle. So I don't know if you're leaving someone behind to, you know, uh, for this new person or they just represent a complete rebirth in terms of your love life. And they do mirror you in a lot of ways. There's something about the heart chakra with this person. Who did this come up for? A Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Because this person's heart chakra is like very open. Um, and it kind of reflects stuff back to you. So like maybe you're very similar. Well, not maybe. You are you're gonna be very similar in a lot of ways. And you have the Magician with the Knight of Swords. Okay, so there's something here about, you have the Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords, which is conflicting energy because the Seven of Pentacles is slow moving, you know, like uh, putting in, you know, planting the seeds, watering them, lovingly tending to them, watching them grow, something that takes a while. And then the Knight of Swords is like, bam, something happens quickly. 
I feel like you're being prepared or you have been being prepared for this new love, okay? So it could be that you're preparing at the moment, but then when the timing is right, it, sorry, I'm having problems with my hands at the moment. Um, like it comes in very fast, very, 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 very fast. So when you feel ready and when spirit feels you're ready, I feel like it's more about you. When you feel you're ready, this person will come in. That's a lot. Um, tell me about this uh, Knight of Swords. Behind man, that's funny. The Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So the hanged man, again, it's like the opposite energy, you know, because the hanged man is about waiting, having to wait for something, and then the knight of swords is just going for it. So it looks like something will happen very fast. It's like waiting, 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 and then just fast. It just happens fast. So I don't know if that's you or the person you're dealing with, because it, it just goes from zero to 100, <laughs> like nothing to 100. Because someone suddenly sees something differently. That's what the hanged man means. Like, it's like um, being in a certain place until you start getting a different perspective on things. Yeah, the sun. So you will be seeing something differently and then it will be all systems go with this new person. Or maybe that's them, you know. What is this that Virgo is seeing differently? Page of Wands. Uh, it's, a, it's a new perspective. It's a whole new perspective on something with that Page of Wands that you're seeing. Because you've been a little hurt. I also see the Eight of Pentacles here. You've been a little hurt, right? With the Nine of Wands, that's wounded warrior energy. So you may have felt like, you know, betrayed by a lot of people or... Maybe that's why you didn't want commitment, because you're like, you know what, enough. I don't want any of that. I don't want to be abandoned again. Um, so this is what you're releasing, because it kind of feels like you've been a little kind of, not in the dark, but keeping yourself hidden. And then suddenly you're just like, you know what, I don't want to do that anymore. Like, I don't want to be single. I want to be in a relationship. Um, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to go for this. And you start, you know, you meet this new person. That's when they're going to come in. Or if you already know this person, like that's when things are going to get going with them. Because with the Eight of Pentacles here, you may have just sort of thrown yourself into work. You know, with the Eight of Pentacles, you may have just sort of allowed yourself to, um, you know, you weren't really thinking about love. And, um... And, you know, instead of like dating, you, you were just working because you're very good at what you do and you have the King of Pentacles here. So you are very, very good at what you do. If this is you, this could also be the person you're dealing with, but King of Pentacles, like having a lot of money, um, being very good at your job, being very responsible, having, a, you know, having a lot of duties, putting money first or putting your career first. That's what the change is here. Okay. Because, like, there's your queen. Oh, look. I like how they look kind of different in this deck, actually. Yeah, it's the same. Look, you have the king and queen of pentacles. So you have someone here that's going to be, your, like, your counterpart, the king and queen of pentacles. Um, so this, I don't know. This is either you or your person, and this is either you or your person, okay? But you're very similar. So there's, if this is you... I see you here, just killing it, <laughs> just straight up killing it. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, looking fantastic, being really confident, maybe being in, well not maybe, being in some kind of spotlight position, manager, business owner, social media platform. If you got that going on, there's something about being very, very successful here. Um, if you have been thinking about stepping into more of a leadership role, this is another little push from spirit. 
uh, Queen of Cups, you're, you know, High Priestess, intuition on point. You're very psychic, you're very in touch with spirit. Queen of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy, very grounded, very stable. Um, uh, killing it at business, single mother energy, you know, like killing it at business or your job. You just got the whole package here. So yeah, and you have a tower here. So that's a cute tower. I don't know if I said this, but I just got this deck. So <laughs> I'm like looking at all the cards. So yeah, look, it's like a branch with squirrels. That's cute. <laughs> Cuteness. Um, so there's some kind of tower coming with this new person, like a good tower, you know, because this person, they're going to be very healing for you. This will be a very healing connection for both of you. You have a star here. And it's also going to be a total wish fulfillment. There is a period where you're manifesting this person and healing at the same time. Or that's them. Um, yeah, you guys totally manifested each other. It's super cute. Like you like wished upon a star and then this person was like manifesting. And then you... You guys met in the middle. They're going to come into your life totally out of nowhere, I would say, like when you're not expecting it. Um, anything about that tower you want to tell us? They're just going to change everything. They're just going to totally change everything. Like if you are someone or... Um, Yeah, someone here, like I said, it's either walking away from something that didn't serve you, then this person comes in, or uh, there's a little, like, you're a bit commitment phobic, or you have, like, a little bit of abandonment issues or something. This person just chips, they just, they, they, they bring a tower, <laughs> and, like, uh, they remove that, basically. And you have the emperor here as well. So this person could be showing up as an emperor here. Um, yes, so I'm going to leave that there, I think, Virgo. Keep it nice and short. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, many, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I would appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.